Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the video. So today I have another deal universe Lua scripting tutorial for you guys. And so in this video, I'm going to be going over and showing you guys how you can display an image on your screen. Now this took me a while to figure out why it did not work for me in the first time. Uh, or in the first, yeah, the first time I tried it uh, to display a normal image on screen, it didn't work for me. Now the reason for that is you need to if you um on your if you log in on the official website for deal universe you there is a page where you go uh, in your profile where you can upload images um now you have to go in there i'll show you guys now in a minute um you have to go in on, on your profile um on the website and then you need to upload images um the, whatever image you want um to use then in game but you can only upload five images at a time and then those in images need to be approved and that approval process takes up to a week now i waited four days for my images to be approved now it is expected because i mean there's a ton of people that upload images and there's maybe just a few people uh, going through all of the images and uh, reviewing them um, now I'm guessing that there's a reason for um, them reviewing the images because they might not want certain types of images, you know, um, to be uploaded and then used in game. Um, so um, I can quickly show you guys um, what I did. So I'm quickly gonna um, switch to my second um, screen. So as you can see here, I have the, the website open. Now um, I'm already logged in. So what you want to do is you want to log in and then um, you want to come over here to image upload. Now this is where um, you then um, can upload up to five images. And then uh, after you've done that, um, like they say here, your images need to be validated before use. This process usually takes up to one week. During review, the, Im the images is displayed in your image library with a, sp a special status under review. And you cannot use it after validation. This status will be updated and an HTTP link will be displayed for use inside HTML blocks. Note that you are responsible for your images wherever they are used. Make sure each image respects the character or the, uh, the charter. So that just means um, you can't have any NSFW images in game or they will never approve them. Because um, obviously. Uh, but as long as your images are not um, like breaking um, the general rules I'm guessing. Um, that you, your images should be approved now i waited about four days for mine to be approved and now these are the images that i've uploaded so far uh, i don't know if there's a maximum amount of images that you can have but i don't think so the only the limit currently is you can only upload five images for review at a time uh, but i'm gonna use this image here this one uh, now let me quickly switch back uh, to in-game and then show you guys uh, the rest that you have to do to actually display it on screen. So once you're um, in-game or uh, if you're already in-game, uh, you want to press Ctrl L on your programming board and you want to come over here to unit and then I already have a basic screen setup, a screen tick. Uh, I'm not going to show you guys how to set up all of these stuff, uh, these things. Uh, you guys can ignore the stuff here above, and you only need to worry about this thing here. Now, um, this is the basic image tag from HTML. So, if you know HTML, um, you would know um, how to make an image uh, tag. And now in source, all I'm going to do is I'm going to paste in that link of that image. Now each image has the, its own unique um, like ID or code. Um, now I would like um, it if you guys don't use this image, but obviously you can. I don't care. 
as long as you don't modify or anything of my images but obviously uh, all of you would probably use your own images um, but still and then all you need to do is you need to add a width and a height tag in your image um, just so that it displays it um, like on the entire screen otherwise it will place it like in a random spot like in the corner uh, because before I started making this video that's something I ran into uh, but um yeah that's actually it it you need to do uh, now you can make a slideshow I might make a tutorial later on uh, showing guys how to make a slideshow uh, I will probably upload new images wait for them to be approved and then uh, I'll make that tutorial to show you guys how you can uh, set up a slideshow but uh, after you've actually done all of this all you can do is just click apply and then activate your mother uh, your programming board and there you guys go there is my image displayed nicely on screen now uh, to show you guys that it actually works uh, with other images as well I can quickly turn this off um, open this up and I'm quickly gonna go on my second screen and get uh, the other image one of the other images I have here and now I'm just gonna replace this link uh, that image with this one and now if I click apply and I activate it again it should now display the other um, image like so and there it goes go so um, that's about it <laughs> for this video um, hopefully um, you guys found this tutorial helpful if you did make sure you guys give the video a thumbs up and also remember to subscribe if you're not subscribed yet and i'll see you guys in the next one